Hello, everybody, and welcome to Because Why. Now, this week, Marin, well, a couple weeks ago, <laughs> but whatever, Marin posed the question, how come in rowing you can be good on the water and get on an erg or an indoor rowing machine and not to be so good? Now, I had the startling realization uh, a couple days ago that I've been involved in rowing for 13 years now. <sighs> I also have another channel if you are a rowing person you want to check out. It's called After Practice. Maybe I'll put a link. I don't know. Can I do that? I don't know. Oh, this is where links might go. So the point is you could say that I know a thing or two about sport rowing. When we're talking about the boat versus the erg, of course, the people who are really, really good on the erg, of course, use their erg scores to their advantage, and the people who are really not so good on the erg are like, oh yeah, well, ergs don't float. And the answer is, yeah, they don't. And that's part of the reason why there's a difference. The biggest difference with the erg itself is that you have less factors to deal with, which is why beginners often start on the erg. The only thing you really have to worry about is your body movement and holding onto the handle. And the erg itself is a static machine, so whatever you put into it is what you get out of it with almost no interference. The boat, on the other hand, is a completely different animal. The factors that you have to deal with in the boat are having an oar in your hand, blade work from that oar, water conditions, and water resistance. Part of the reason for most major races, the boats themselves are weighed and the coxswains are always weighed, is because weight makes a difference in the boat in the same way that weight makes a difference on the erg. People who are bigger generally do better on the erg. People who are taller generally do better on the erg. Generally, if you're a larger person, the erg likes you. And it's not to say that the boat doesn't prefer tall people, because it definitely does. A lot of times people who are shorter are often lighter and therefore at a disadvantage on the erg. However, when they get into the boat, they weigh the boat down less. So the boat is dealing with less water resistance, is closer to the top of the water, and therefore is, moves a bit faster. Of course, this is where everybody starts to get a little bit butthurt. Because at the end of the day, if you have a short person who's not so good on the erg, but really great in a boat, and you have a tall person who's really great in the erg and really great in the boat, the tall person's gonna win every time. Rowing is a sport that favors tall people, and there's really nothing you can do to get around that. In short, both areas do favor taller people because rowing as a sport favors taller people. However, in the boat, due to water resistance and blade work, short people can still kind of shine through anyway. So Marin, I hope that answers your question, and I have a question for you, and this one's kind of meta. You know, this one's kind of deep. Who is truly the first Pokemon? That is all for today on Because Why. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! Mm-hmm.